Work it, work it, that's right. Give me dirty, give me sexy, give me bad boy. That's right. Go ahead, pick up that sword, play with it. That's right. Oh, you're so dangerous. That's right, yeah. give it to me. Really, give it. guys? This is what we're gonna use for the shoe is lamps? Hi, I'm Kill Anonymous, and welcome to another episode of Kingston's Indie Hack. On today's episode of Indie Hack, we'll be showing you how to build your own in-home photo studio to get pro quality results on the cheap. So whether you're a veteran photographer or picking up the camera for the first time, you'll be sure to save a pretty penny while upping your photography game. Like they say, great photography requires great lighting, but professional lighting equipment can be quite expensive. So for our first hack, we'll show you how to take advantage of a free lighting source, the sun. Ah! To get started, you're gonna need the following items. Sturdy table, preferably square, roll of white background paper, foam core board, duct tape, and scissors or knife. First, you're gonna wanna position your table near a window with a lot of natural light. Make sure you have enough space to move around the table though. Next, securely tape the open end of the paper roll to the wall or ceiling. Now unroll the paper across the table and tape the sides to secure the backdrop. Then prep your subject on the table. Depending on the amount of light coming from the window, you may need an extra fill light. To do that, take your foam board and position it opposite your window. Make sure it's cut to a size that's bigger than your object to properly balance enough light. Now set your tripod, adjust your camera settings, and pop in a trusty memory card like this Kingston Class 10 and shoot away. So now you're thinking, Kayla, using natural light is great, but what if it's nighttime or the apocalypse is approaching and there's no sun outside? What then? Well, we've got you covered there too. If you've got 20 bucks, then you can make your own light with our DIY fill light. Here's what you'll need. Desk or floor lamp with standard shade, daytime fluorescent bulbs, aluminum foil, white bed sheets, clothespin or pony clamps, and scissors. Start off by wrapping the interior and exterior of the lampshade with foil. The foil should be semi-crumpled to ensure that it will bounce the light properly. Now cut out a circle piece from the white bed sheets. Make sure the piece is large enough to wrap around the lampshade. Finally, wrap the bed sheets over the lampshade and keep it in place with a clothespin or pony clamp. And there you have it, a cheap fill light that'll brighten up your subject even in the event of an apocalypse. If you're looking for the perfect light box setup for your home, we've got a good hack for you. We're calling this one the ultimate light box. Lightning. Here's how. Cardboard box, white Bristol board, 20 sheets, parchment paper, duct tape, scissors or knife, pencil or pen, ruler, and a glue stick. First, using a ruler, measure two inches from the edges of the side, marking multiple points. You'll need to cut out square holes on three sides of your box. Leave the bottom and back alone. Next, completely cut out the front of the box. This is the side you'll be shooting from. Now cut the Bristol board into two inch strips. You will need about 16 strips or more, depending on the size of your box. Glue the two inch strips along the inner linings inside the box. Now take another piece of Bristol board and cut it so the width is the same width as the box. This will serve as your psych wall background. Now cut the parchment paper into squares, making sure they're the same size as the sides of your box. Tape the paper squares to cover up the holes on the sides, except for the opening opposite the background. Finally, position your box under a light source, such as a desk lamp, and you're ready to shoot. All right, guys, well, that's our episode on indie hacking your own photo studio. You don't need all that dough to get proper lighting. You just need a few bucks, some elbow grease, and your imagination. <laughs> so now I'm going to imagine you clicking that like and subscribe button. Do it so you can catch future episodes of Indie Hack. I'm Kale Anonymous, and I'll catch you later. Ah, son, no! Don't leave me alone! Did you get that sweet Terminator 2 reference? <laughs> 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 <laughs>